Hello everyone and welcome to my TJ Silver channel. Today I would like to show you a polymer clay veneer using chalks, chalks just like these ones, doesn't matter what colours you use, it's entirely up to you, and some inks. Now I've got two or three colours here of inks, but first of all what I'm going to show you is I just have a small piece of white clay and this is Fimo Professional and I run this through the pasta machine on number two and I have a makings machine. And all I've got here is just some white. It may seem a bit odd that I'm putting white on white, but there is a reason for that with this one because I really want the colours that I'm going to use. I really want them to pop, really. Um, and I quite like the look of the sort of blue and white. I might add something else, but I'm not too sure. So what I've actually done is I've just scraped some chalk onto here and just literally, in little bits, just uh, move that hair. Little bits. That's always the way, isn't it? Just when you think you kind of got away with it, you haven't. But we'll get that one off. Yes, just scraped it, uh, just moved it round in little bits. And um, this is just an area that I haven't done. And you'll be able to sort of feel when you know you've got um, the powder or the chalks on there. And it really is, sort of helps to, well, I believe it helps to actually make the, the inks soak in a bit better. Um, and also what you're going to need, or your choice on this part, is a piece of card. And this is a little bit of a secret thing that I'm doing here, or a little bit of a added extra, I should say. Um, I'm just going to cut a piece of card. And this is just part of some packing. I think it came with some paper. Um, and I'm using the matte side. I'll just take a little bit of that off because we don't need that much. And I shall show you what I'll do with that in a minute. But what I'm going to use now is I'm just going to use one of these inks. And this one, actually I might use the darker one. This one's the Sailboat Blue. And I'm uh, just going to put a couple of drops onto here. I do love that colour. I do like blue. And just put that back. And then I'm going to take this one, which is the Aqua. And you don't have to cover the whole piece. Um, it is really just about getting the colours just to merge a little bit, just so as it gives it something, a bit of interest. And I think I'm going to leave that. I'm not going to add anything because I do like the way that looks. Now with your piece of card, if you're anything like me, I'm impatient. So this will actually help to soak up the excess ink. Now, I know we can let it dry, and there's no reason, you know, if you're someone that likes to prefer to let it dry, please do so, that's absolutely fine. You may want to make four or five veneers in one go, and you can let them all sit aside and wait for them to dry. But I just found that I wanted to see what it looked like, I wanted to see if it would work, um, and I just thought I'd give it a go. And then, when I actually did that and picked up the piece of card, I actually found that I had a really nice design on the card and I thought well that'd be a shame to waste that so I'll show you what I did with that but I do love what it does I just think it just looks so pretty um, I'm just going to use a paper towel just to make sure there isn't any excess on the edge it's not about wiping it it really is just about dabbing it because I'm going to actually run this back through the pasta machine and uh, we may get a bit of a crackle effect. So let's have a go. Pick this up with my knife, my blade, and it was like I say, it was on a number two. I'm going to actually put it through on a number two again um, and just see how that comes out. And you'll see it will start to slowly pull it, and you can see just there, it's just started to crackle just a little bit. Now I'm just going to turn it round this way and I'm just going to move it up one notch to number three. And again you can see it's just started to go a little bit further. I'm going to turn it right round again and go to number four. I believe that's on number four. Do excuse me, yes. I'll just run that through again. And there you will see that you've got a nice definition. But what I do like about this is those inks and the chalk has embedded themselves into the clay. So you don't actually have to, once you've decided what you want to use your veneer for, and there's all sorts of things you can use it for, you don't actually have to put any kind of coating on afterwards to hold it. 
and um, I did make this pendant earlier and this was just done basically with a, a greenish veneer and I did make it sure that I wanted it to give it a bit of crackle and before I baked it I actually used a stamp and I just gently stamped using the stays on and um, I just gently stamped on it and baked it all together and it's really worked well I'm really pleased with this because one nothing comes off no residue so if you like this sort of um, matte look then it's great for that absolutely great or if you're someone that likes to have a shiny look this is one that I'm just in the middle of doing I probably need to put another coat of Kato liquid and if you want to see how to do this Debbie Crothers is a great person to uh, watch she does a brilliant video um, also Debbie Crothers does some other wonderful veneers so please do take a look at her and what I'd like to just show you what I was going to do with that card as what I've done with a couple of others I did a green veneer and uh, just cut the card out edged it with some inks I think it was or it might have been one of the pads I'm not sure ink pads stamp pads that I've got and basically with the veneer that I made I had a piece left over used again the inks to stamp onto the heart and baked all that and then put this onto the card it's just a way of using this piece up really and I just thought it'd be a bit of fun and I also did it with some pink um, the pink I will say didn't come out quite so well I was hoping it would be a little bit more vibrant but um, I did like the piece of paper that I actually came off so I was quite pleased with that so and this one I used this stamp collection which is from the Stampin' Up! range and I do love this because this lends itself brilliantly to steampunk as well um, and I have used this on a notebook cover in the past but um, Stampin' Up! everyone that knows uh, does card crafting should know about Stampin' Up! so there you go but yes yeah, so it you know you've got a little bit of a bonus there if you want to it doesn't have to be a card you know you could use this maybe as a centerpiece on, on, a, on a small frame if you wanted to maybe just cut a heart out and make a small picture frame or something for someone as a little bit of a present you know it just it just seems, seems such a shame to me to waste it so just a little bit of an added thing there so I hope you enjoyed that like I say there's endless possibilities and you can stamp straight onto this but obviously just gently and then you can bake it and do whatever you wish with it um, but there's all sorts of things out there that will tell you what you can do with your veneers so I hope you've enjoyed this and um, if you have please do a thumbs up if you wish to subscribe please do so and I hope to see you all again soon thank you very much bye bye